Hey everybody, Samsara here, and welcome back to the channel. Have you ever wondered which airships are worth upgrading, or whether you'll lose them if you leave your guild? Well worry not, I've got the answers to those questions and everything else you should know about airships in today's Raid the Dungeon video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed this video to see more content like this in the future. There are two types of airships in Raid the Dungeon, and both play an important role. The first type are guild airships. There are currently four guild airships available in the game. The large airship is the first of the four, and is available immediately upon a guild's creation. This ship provides a passive 10% bonus to gold drops that is always available. The large airship also has active boosts for movement speed and a 50% gold drop. These active boosts cost guild funds and last for 12 hours. The next three airships are available for purchase and cost 100 million guild funds each. For the sake of time, you can learn more about the other three guild airships by reading their descriptions in the game. The second type of airships are player owned, and these ships provide you with a passive income. The first ship provides gold and has a low capacity. The second ship provides refined stones for upgrading your relics. The third ship provides gold and has a high capacity. The fourth ship gives you rift marks. And the last ship provides you with quartz. All airships also give the player guild funds. It's worth noting that the names and appearances of these ships may change as they're upgraded. Any upgrades to your ships are permanent and are not lost when you leave a guild. However, players without a guild are unable to collect resources from or activate their airships. This means that you'll have to wait a minimum of 24 hours after leaving a guild to access them again. Clicking the Collect All button will collect resources from all of your airships and reactivate the collection. Each airship has a maximum gathering time a gathering rate, and a quantity of resources that will be gathered. Upgrading the airships can increase the number of resources gathered each cycle, increase the maximum gathering time, reduce the duration for each gather cycle, or some combination of these. Don't forget to reactivate your airships after upgrading them. All airships, with the exception of the medium airship, have a maximum level of 20. An analysis of the airship shows that the cost to upgrade them and the benefits they provide increase linearly over time. Unlocking each ship is a low cost and will provide you with a significant advantage early on. Upgrading all the free-to-play airships to the max level is highly encouraged later in the game, though it can be pretty expensive early on. Most players in the Discord server recommend maxing out the pirate ship as early as possible since the rift marks it provides are crucial to progression. A link to the spreadsheet from earlier with a detailed breakdown of airship costs and statistics has been provided in the description of the video. Please use this data to make your own decisions about how and when to upgrade your airships. Here are the 24 hour production rates of each airship at max level. Note that the name of some airships may change at higher levels. The cost to max out all the free-to-play ships is 115,000 quartz. The maximum level, stats, and quest points to max out the assault ship are unconfirmed due to the high real money cost. The journey to upgrade these ships to level 20 will be a long one, but the outcome is definitely worth it. So don't forget to take a breather and invest in your airships from time to time. Well that's all for today's video. I hope to see you next time. As always, happy hunting.